taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024. Stock's pretty flat this morning. Dow futures up 11, NASDAQ futures up 40, S&P futures, I'm sorry, NASDAQ futures down 40, S&P futures down 11, VIX up 1.5% to 19.55, so getting up there. My one DTE is in play. I'm, I, I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. To, um, see what that first five minute bar does with this really higher VIX at nineteen point five five. You know, yesterday there was about a thirty five point drop right out of the gates, and so if it stays in a little bit tighter range after the you know that first. First, uh, either push or drop. Then I'll put it on. Otherwise, if we, if we get like a big drop again in the first five minutes, I'll maybe wait a little bit, see if it settles down. Most stocks are in the red. Baidu up 5% again. Jeez. There is the bell. So again, I'm just going to give my one DTE five minutes here and see what the markets do right out of the gates. NASDAQ down 47, S&P down 13. S&P falling. So about a 10-point push down already. So about a 10, 10 point, 10, 12 point push down, not starting to pop back up. So maybe we won't get such a dramatic 
drop here out of the gates. Morning, El Piero. How about now? Yeah, I don't know. The internet, like, it, like, must have had a little glitch. It, like, kicked me off the Zoom call. I'm going to, I'm just waiting here on my one DTE. I haven't placed it yet. I was going to see what the first bar did. You know, yesterday was a big 35-point drop in the first five minutes. So I just want to make sure. It looks like things have kind of settled down here a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my one DTE. All right, filled on my one DTE, so I will post that one.
Put in my OCO order. There we go. All right, now looking for some, ups, um, some volume runners. Looking for that second bar to be bigger than the first and in the same direction. Like Goog is getting a big volume bar, but it's opposite direction as the first bar. So I'm not seeing anything yet, so I'm just going to be patient. Vic's still going up. So S and P's come down. I'm not, come down now about twenty points. Look for some mighty nineties. Netflix, Baidu, and Baba in the green. Everything else pretty much in the red. You missed it after we got off the live Power Hour live stream. Kansas City Royals won yesterday. Play again today. Exciting times here with both our sports teams.
NASDAQ down 118, S&P down 32. Meta, looking like it could get a mighty 90 long. It's already popped up a little bit in terms of price. Today we trade the two days to expiration option chain. Two DTE. Doesn't look like Meta's going to get enough volume pop there. Picks up above 20 now, up 5.5%. Five and, and you got these dock workers striking. There's no supplies. I saw somebody posted uh, Costco that... Um, Shelves are bare in Costco. Got wars happening. I think it's probably time we try something different. And Netflix, little bit of volume separation there. You could you could consider that a mighty ninety. I would like to see it. I mean, it would have to push back down though for me to consider getting long. Vice presidential debate was last night. Oh, I did watch a little bit of that. I, it, honestly, it was. I thought both guys spoke really well and. <laughs> A lot better watching the vice president one than the presidential one, I think. Just the way they were able to be respectful of each other. Oh, did I say Netflix? Uh, Meta was what I was talking about. Yeah. Sorry if I said Netflix meta right here. A-W-E-B. I don't know what that is. Yep. What what do you want me to look what do you want me to look at there, chess master? I mean, just look at it or, or did you have a question? Yeah, it's I don't really see anything happening there with it. It's also got pretty wide bid ask for that tight range and Bit ask being 
too wide. I mean, $38 stock. I really don't trade $38 stocks. Too small. Well, I mean, that one bar was barely bigger than the other, but I mean, there's more to a Mighty 90 than the volume being bigger than the previous. There wasn't a price push down. There was the range is two tenths of a point, $38. Wide bid ask, 20 cents when you're a $38 stock. <clears throat> Yeah, there's just more than more than just uh, seeing. Uh, you look at like Meta here. I mean, it's more than just this red bar being bigger than the previous. It it, it had a pretty decent push down too. Um, I would I actually want to see a little bit more volume separation there. Oh, that's a big bounce back in the S and P. Nice green bar there, pop right back up. Amazon looks like it's uh, potentially getting a mighty ninety, but uh, this bar's. It would need to see on, on this one here, like it needs to push down and get like pushed through lows. It's already bounced up and it too has a pretty tight range. So volume looks good, but the price push, it's already bounced. Yeah, Mike, uh, just a uh, calculation mistake in my head. Woke up late today. Well, brain's a little foggy. But yeah, there. I noticed my wings were... Notice my wings weren't the same, so yeah, it's just a miscalculation in my head. Doing math. Uh, beyond uh yeah i mean beyond's close to a volume bar about a tick away I'm not seeing any really good setups yet. Yeah, Tesla, same thing. I've said that quite a bit about the lack of volume pop there. It's got to be more than just a tick or two bigger.
S&P pushed back up to about where it opened. Thus, the one DTE is up uh, 9%. We're going to like seeing that. Yeah, that's kind of what I've said. Like, beyond, I don't, don't trade it. It's, it's too small. I used to trade it when it was bigger. Used to trade it when it was bigger and didn't usually do very good for me. So interesting that we're kind of at a point here. It's like, okay, what, what are the markets going to do? We had an initial push down and, and within 10 minutes, they pushed right back to the open. So it's like, okay, where are we going? Where are we going now? Are we going higher or are we going back down? I'm not really, I don't, I'm going to try to play it safe here, not get any continuation runners because I'm not sure where the market's going here. VIX has come back down under 20. Uh, like Goog, Goog's kind of setting up to be a downside continuation, an uh, early one. But price just ripped up. And actually, the S&P futures got a big green volume bar to the upside. Boeing potential mighty 90 short. Let's see if it can push up a little bit more. It too has very tight range. So Boeing pushing up a little bit. It's the first real signal it's given that I've gotten today. Pretty wide bid ask. We'll pass on Boeing. Tesla just bleeding lower. S&P coming up right about where it opened. Roku right up to highs of day.
just not really any any uh, signals here. A lot of stocks have gone green, though. Tesla bleeding lower. Microsoft, potential mighty 90 short. See, Microsoft, I would trade the 417.5 puts. And get filled at three twenty. Filled at three twenty five in Microsoft. And four seventeen point five puts. Close half at 360. Wow. Go to 360 already. Close another at three ninety. Yes, we got a better fill than El Piero for once. <laughs> Just kidding. So. Microsoft, it's it couldn't get above yesterday's low. So, but take it, everybody, take a look at Microsoft volume. Like, so, like when you when you suggest trades, like potential mighty ninety and whatever, like that's what I really look for in the volume separation. Yeah, Goog had a Goog had a mighty ninety short as well. I was actually looking at getting short Goog for downside continuation, but then I had a mighty ninety short. Microsoft coming right back up. Need it to get rejected again. NVIDIA up to highs of day. AMD through highs of day. Look out. Here we're, we're pushing. S&P through highs of day.
Market doesn't care about any wars going on. Apple had a little mighty 90 long. Not, not, not as good of a setup as Microsoft, but. S&P has pushed up 25 points in the last 20 minutes. I'd reload in Goog if I wanted to, but I don't think I will. That was, a, that was a quick fill on my 20%. Yeah, Microsoft's right there under yes, yesterday's low. I need to stay down below that. NVIDIA getting a potential mighty dandy short. Not, 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 not the best separation in volume, but. Yeah, Goog had a mighty 92. Goog had a mighty 90 short. I was going to play Goog as a downside continuation runner. <clears throat> yeah, no, I meant Goog. If you look at Goog, it's got a nice looking mighty 90 in terms of the volume. And it's also... Push down, little three bar consolidation bounce usually means it's going to roll over. So that would have been a good, would have been a good one to get in. Need Microsoft push down to lows of day. AMD up to highs of day. Yeah, I should have gotten that continuation, downside continuation runner set up in Goog. Still watching NVIDIA. It's pushing up to highs. I may get in it. Mighty 90 short there. We'll trade the 118 puts in NVIDIA.
Build at 196 in NVIDIA for a little mighty 90 short there. Uh, it's got a mighty 90 set up where it's far bigger than the first, but even better, it's got another price push up. That would be why. You're not really going anywhere. Yeah, there's no there's no rule about how fast a stock moves though, El Piero. Yeah, I mean it's only up. It's not even just not even up a one percent. So it's not that strong. No two consecutive red bars out of Microsoft yet. S&P down 7, NASDAQ down 14. So things are looking like they want to get strong here. It's You do see that quite a bit on a big down day. The next day you see the market rebound pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, El Piero, it doesn't have the, the volume separation isn't as good as, say, Microsoft. But what is good is the price push. It's two parts to the Mighty 90. So sometimes you get both of them being good. Sometimes you get one of them being good. Sometimes you get the volume to be good. You don't get the price push. Sometimes you get the price push. You don't get the good volume. All right, Microsoft, you haven't been able to get through yesterday's lows, so let's just go ahead and roll over here. Here's a good example, Roku. Roku, good-looking volume setup, no price push. 
I mean, what is that? Seven, eight tenths of a point. Yes, like Goog Mighty 90, it would have it spit out two consecutive red bars. Would have been a winner. One DTE is up Build at 220 to close half my NVIDIA. An order in at 235 to close another NVIDIA. <clears throat> Got one red bar out of Microsoft. Let's see if we can get a second consecutive. Definitely don't have the big, big price action like we had yesterday at the open. Push down, kind of push back up. Now it's kind of, kind of slowing down. Video got one red bar. I need to get one more here. It's kind of it's kind of setting up like an upside continuation runner if it doesn't push down anymore. It's, you know, it's kind of it's got that push up and then now it's pausing. So I'd definitely love to get a second red bar out of it. AMD up to highs of day. S&P up to highs of day.
No high volume bars today. AMD pushing through highs of day. Microsoft it's trying to give us another red bar, although it's not a very big one. Flipped green. NVIDIA up to highs of day now. S&P now breaking out, pushing up. One DTE is going to need a pullback here pretty soon now. Video pushing up. Very easily could have added added back in on NVIDIA, but I'm not going to. It's like we have a lot of Fed speakers today. I was just looking at the calendar. I don't think any one of them have, has caused it to push up. <clears throat> a pretty good ad though up there at the top. One DTE up 17%. A chop going on. And really need Microsoft to, I mean, it's gone nowhere. The last 30 minutes. Baidu looks like, looking like it wants to go through lows of day.
one DTE up 20%. NVIDIA trying to give us one red bar. AMD stands strong. Microsoft's a $418 stock. You would think it would move more than a point in the last 30 minutes. All right, we got one red bar out of NVIDIA. Can we get two? Can we get a second out of Microsoft? That would be pretty nice if we could. Because there is just is not a lot of good setups today. AMD up to highs of day again. Man, it's brutal. Some days you just don't get a lot of good setups. Microsoft pushed up now to right there at yesterday's low. If it, if it breaks through yesterday's low, I mean, I like to give it so it gives me two consecutive bars in whatever direction it is I'm I'm needing it to. But that is a pretty significant key level. All it had to do was push down one more point. Now it's <clears throat> Trying to push up through that consolidation. You take a look at a lot of these stocks here. Meta, Chop, Roku all Chop, Tesla has Chop the last 30 minutes, Microsoft Chop, Amazon Chop. It's just really hard to get any good setups with this type of price movement.
terms of TLC trading, I mean... been pretty choppy between been in about a 15 point range last 40 minutes but starting to push up the highs of day so I would probably wait a little bit longer for Determining if I would want to enter or not. That looks like Steve is. It's like Steve maybe cut his because I bet he cut it because it pushed up through yesterday's low. But you can see Steve only had one trade. That's just because there just wasn't any good setups. Yeah, so Microsoft, I want to see it push back down under yesterday's low here. VIX has come down to 19.12, so it's it's down three quarters of a percent now.
S and P trying to get back up to highs of day. Now it looks like things want to go higher. Yeah, so in terms of um, TLC, you know, SPX is getting up to highs of day. So I would not probably enter now in case it wants to continue pushing up. The key, if it keeps showing resistance where it's at, then I might enter. We'll see what it does here if it gets through highs of day or not. NASDAQ and the Dow are in the green. S&P trying to go green. And the one DTE could use a little bit of down movement. S&P keeps having trouble getting through yesterday's close. Build on uh, just closed half my one DT at twenty five percent. Beautiful.
All right, so Microsoft getting us a second red bar. And NVIDIA looks like it's going to spit out its second red bar for us as well. Let me go ahead and close my Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and close my NVIDIA. Build at 206 to close NVIDIA. Go to 315 to close Microsoft. So, all right. Well, they weren't big winners, but they were winners nonetheless. So I will see everyone during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.